Hey guys, I'm Lisa from Dynamic Bike Fit. So today I'm gonna go over an exercise for your glutes that is awesome to help get that good activation. Um, this is perfect for before or after you ride and it's gonna help um, after you've lengthened your hip flexors, now you can go ahead and activate your glutes. And some of you in your fit, we've talked about either knees going out or maybe even knees going in towards the bike. And with those two things, there are a couple different ways that you can do this exercise that can help strengthen the muscles that you need to have a very good pedal stroke where you're just, your knees are going vertically up and down without that um, movement inside and movement outside. So this is gonna be a floor bridge. And on a bridge, what we wanna do is we're gonna lay on our back like so. And when you're in this position, you wanna make sure that you are not arching your back, that you have a nice flat back. So we're gonna push down right where our back naturally arches. We're gonna push down, and that way we can use our lower pelvic floor muscles. I'm gonna start with my feet hip width apart. And when I'm doing this, a lot of people also have protracted shoulders where their shoulders roll forward. So try to keep in mind that you wanna still pinch your shoulder blades back and down. So I'm gonna tuck under, activate my core, keep my shoulders back and down. And from here, I wanna to try to drive through my heels to lift my glutes straight up towards the ceiling. And when I'm doing that, I wanna squeeze my glutes and come down slow. So if you ever find while you're doing this that your hamstrings are cramping and they're starting to get really tight, that means that your glutes are not doing what they should be doing and your hamstrings are trying to work for them. So make sure that you're really driving through your heels at that point. So again, we're gonna go hip width apart and if you kind of reach towards your, your feet, you can almost touch them. That would be a good bend in your knees. And draw in your lower pelvic floor, flatten your back, shoulder blades back and down. Squeeze your glutes, and we're gonna come straight up towards the ceiling. Hold, make sure and get a good contraction, and come back down. Now, if you are one that your knees fly out on the bike, and we need to strengthen your adductors with this, then grab a foam roller, put it between your knees, and from here, you're gonna work on squeezing that foam roller as you go through this movement. So again, shoulders back and down, tuck under, activate that pelvic floor, squeeze your glutes, and we're gonna start coming straight up. This is gonna help keep your knees in line with your hips, and what we're aiming for is a good straight line through our body we're gonna hold and come back down. You can over-exaggerate lifting your toes up and just driving through your heels if that helps you to get better glute activation. So holding right here and down slow. All right, another way that you can do this exercise is with a small band. So I like to use a semi-heavy band and this actually, I feel the most glute activation doing it this way. So again, feet pretty close to you, straight ahead, hip width apart. And I'm gonna scoot down a little bit so I can touch my heels. All right, so from here, this band, I wanna slightly push against it, and that's in case my knees like to dive in towards the bike. So this is gonna help get your glute medius a little bit more. So pushing out on the band just slightly, we don't wanna over-exaggerate that. So just slightly, and we're gonna draw in, shoulder blades back and down, and lift straight up, hold, and come down slow. So continue this movement. Try to regroup in between every repetition. So as you come back down, you wanna try to reactivate the correct muscles. Make sure that your shoulders aren't coming up on you. And as you go through this motion, you just wanna make sure that when you're pushing up, you're not pushing up with your lower back. So I don't wanna have that arch in my back. I wanna make sure that I have a nice flat back as best I can. And that way I'm really focusing on glutes, pelvic floor, and you can kind of glance down and make sure your knees are staying straight and come back down. 
So for this exercise, tempo is everything. You wanna make sure and go very slow, up on a three count, hold for three, and down for four. And when we're doing this, we wanna aim for 12 to 20 reps and choose the type of exercise that you want, what you feel best matches your strengths and weaknesses on the bike. So if your weakness is knees out, then use your handy dandy foam roller between your knees. If your weakness is knees in, then you wanna use the band on the outside. And if you just wanna be strong overall, then incorporate all three, band, no band, or foam roller. I hope this helps and we'll see you next time.